हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टू कंटिन्यू विथ स्टेटिस्टिक्स फॉर इकोनॉमिक्स चैप्टर मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी पार्ट टू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी कैलकुलेशन ऑफ अर्थमेटिक मीन फॉर ग्रुप डाटा हेयर इज एन डिस्क्रीट सीरीज discrete series as we studied earlier are the series in which exact measurement of items is possible so in this this series farm size is given as well as number of cultivating households are given farm size are given as 64 63 62 61 60 and 59 number of households cultivating these farms this is frequency 8 18 12 9 7 and 6 so first of all we will calculate arithmetic mean by direct method according to direct method we will multiply frequency with farm size that is x we will calculate fx so it is 512 1134 Seven forty four, five forty nine, four twenty, three fifty four. Sigma f x is equal to three thousand seven hundred thirteen. Now, by direct method, the mean is equal to sigma f x upon f, that is three thousand seven hundred thirteen divided by sixty. So, average is equal to sixty one point. Eight eight. As you know that there are three methods of calculating arithmetic mean. Now we shall calculate it by shortcut methods. So in order to calculate shortcut method, we will calculate d. That is, we will take the deviation by assuming mean. Here, assume mean is taken as sixty two. So we will calculate x minus a. Which is equal to sixty four minus sixty two equal to two. Then in second case sixty three minus sixty two equal to one. And in this way we will get get d zero minus one minus two and minus three. Then we will calculate f d. That is d multiplied by frequency. Here is d multiplied by frequency. So we will get sixteen eighteen. Zero minus nine minus fourteen minus eighteen, and sigma f t is equal to minus seven. Now the formula for calculating mean is x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d upon sigma f is equal to assume mean is sixty two plus minus seven upon sixty. So in this way, average is sixty one point eight eight. There is one more method to calculate arithmetic mean that is step deviation method since this numerical cannot be calculated by step deviation method so in case if any numerical can be so formula for that is x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d dash upon sigma f into c c is the common factor so we will take the common factor then we will divide the deviation by common factor so the process of calculating arithmetic mean in case of continuous series is same as that of discrete series the only difference is that the midpoints of various class intervals are taken now calculation in continuous series Here continuous series class intervals are given zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty, forty to fifty, fifty to sixty, and sixty to seven. These are the marks scored by the different student. Frequency is given against these marks. The only difference is that we have to calculate mid values. Mid value is equal to lower limit plus upper limit divided by two. Zero plus ten divided by two is equal to five. In this way, we will calculate mid value for each class interval 
then the steps are same as in case of discrete series so here we will multiply by direct method fm this is frequency multiplied by m because this is mid value to we have used the word m fm is work out 25 180 375 875 360 165 and 130 sigma fm is equal to 2110 whereas sigma f that is number of students is 70 so by direct method the formula is sigma f is equal to fm upon sigma f is equal to 2110 divided by 70 that is 30.14 marks the same numerical can be done by shortcut method again in shortcut method we will try to re reduce the calculation so first of all after writing the statement after calculating mid value we will calculate d deviation m minus a so here assume mean is taken as 35 from the mid value m minus a mid value minus assume mean 5 minus 35 minus 30 in second case 15 minus 35 it shall be equal to minus 20 then minus 10 0 10 20 and 30 now f frequency multiplied by d f d we will calculate minus 30 multiplied by 5 is equal to minus 50 and in this way we will get minus 240 minus 150 0 80 60 and 60 sigma f d is equal to minus 340 now we will write formula by shortcut method mean is equal to a plus sigma f d upon sigma f which is equal to 35 plus minus 340 upon 70 so it is equal to 35 minus 4.857 that is equal to 30.14 so this is how we calculate by shortcut method now the same numerical can be done by step deviation method so we will take one more step first of all we will calculate mid value then we will calculate d then d dash d dash is equal to d upon common factor so in the deviation 10 is the common factor so we will divide the deviation by common factor 10 minus 30 divided by 10 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 then we will calculate f d dash that is frequency multiplied by d dash so frequency is here 5 multiplied by minus 3 minus 15 12 multiplied by minus 2 minus 24 and in this way we will complete the column minus 15 0 8 6 and 6 sigma f d dash is equal to minus 34 so formula for calculating by step deviation method is x bar is equal to a plus sigma f d dash upon sigma f multiplied by c we will put the values 35 plus minus 34 upon 70 into 10 so average marks are 30.14 so in case of continuous series we know that class intervals may be of various type may be exclusive may be inclusive or of unequal size in all cases calculation of arithmetic mean is done in the same way as in exclusive type of class interval then let us study how to calculate weighted arithmetic mean weighted in case of weighted means instead of frequency weights are given so here marks scored by the students are given as then different weightage is given to the marks we will calculate we will write w here instead of x then we will calculate wx so 81 multiplied by 2 162 and in this way 228 444 406 210 10, and 511 sigma weight is 28 Sigma WX is equal to one nine six one, 
and the formula is same mean average marks sigma w x upon sigma w one nine six one upon twenty eight is equal to seventy point zero four is the weighted arithmetic mean. Similarly, we can also calculate combined arithmetic mean. Suppose there are two sections in a class, say class commerce in eleventh class, and average marks of the two sections are given in section one. Number of student is sixty. Average marks scored by the student is forty. In section two. The total number of students forty. Average marks scored by student are thirty five. So we can calculate the average marks for class eleventh as a whole. This is known as combined arithmetic mean. Formula for calculating combined arithmetic mean is x bar one two. X bar one into n one that is number of students in a class plus x bar two. Into number of students in section two, then n one plus n two. That is why putting the values forty into sixty plus thirty five into forty is equal to total number of students sixty plus forty, which is equal to thirty eight hundred upon hundred. So average marks of both of the sections are thirty eight. Now the mathematical property of arithmetic mean. It is a very interesting property. That is the sum of deviation of items about arithmetic mean is always equal to zero. Symbolically, it can be written as sigma x minus x bar is equal to zero. So, thank you, students. In the next part, we shall try to understand the mathematical property of arithmetic mean.